2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Uh, it says, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. And notice, we are ambassadors. An ambassador is one sent with the authority of the one sending. Well, he is a, a representative. He's, he goes and he declares the policies of the one that sent him with the full authority of the one that sent him. And he said, now notice this, as though God did beseech you by us. In other words, if you heard us, you heard God. God was calling you to, to repentance. Isn't this the same thing Jesus said? He said, listen, whatever they did to me, they're going to do to you. If they hear you, they hear me. If they don't hear you, they don't hear me. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Didn't Jesus say that? And here isn't Paul saying the same thing? As though God did beseech you by us. In other words, if you heard us, you heard God. Amen. Do you get that? Do you see? But now, listen, I'm not talking about preachers. I'm not talking about somebody with a ministry as we think of it. I'm talking about believers. Every promise is made to the believer. Listen, every preacher has to still be a believer. Just because he's a preacher doesn't make it work. If the preacher doesn't believe, it still won't work. Right. So the preacher has to believe. Every promise is to a believer. And you don't have to be, and I hate to use this term this way, but you don't have to be a preacher to be a believer. But I will tell you this, if you're a believer, you're already a preacher. Amen. You just may be, you may have abdicated your, you know, <laughs> yeah, abdicated your call. But as a Christian, as a believer, you're a minister. Amen. And it's because it's the same spirit. Why would God give you the same spirit and not expect the same spirit to do in and through you what that same spirit did in and through Jesus? You say, well, you know, but I, I think Jesus had, to, had, a, had, you know, his Holy Spirit was different. No, no, no. If that same spirit that raised up Christ Jesus from the dead dwell in you, it's that same spirit. There's one Holy Spirit. There's not ten different Holy Spirits. One Holy Spirit. And He dwells in you. And in you is all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, just as it was in Jesus. The difference is, Jesus let it out. And we have to decide if we're going to let it out. Amen? Amen? So all of this goes back to that. Now, He delegated His power over sickness and disease to us in the sense, now, I don't usually use the term delegated. The, the reality is, we inherited it whenever we got in Him because we are joint heirs with Him. Whatever He has, we have. But if we don't do what He did, we'll never see what He saw. Amen? Amen. All right. Did y'all get anything out of this this morning? Amen. We have to be as one that has authority. So, amen. Well.